This video shows how to print double-sided media on the HP Latex 260 and 280 printers, formerly known as the DesignJet L26500 and L28500, using Onyx Production House X10 software. Note that the printer model numbers are interchangeable in this context. The printer shown is the HP Latex 260, but the steps also apply to the HP Latex 280 printer. To begin, load substrate material if necessary. If you print immediately after loading, the printer will automatically leave the necessary blank media. If the substrate was already loaded, you must manually leave 50 centimeters or 20 inches of blank media. First, press the Move Substrate button on the front panel, then press OK. Press and hold the down arrow to advance the substrate the correct amount. Double-sided printing can be selected in your raster image processor or RIP software, or at the printer's front panel. The RIP settings take precedence when used. For this demonstration, we will use Onyx Production House X10 software. When setting up the software, HP recommends you adjust the following settings. Click the Change button to begin. Select Print Jobs Individually from the drop-down menu. Click Setup. Unset the Automatically Start Printing option at this time to allow for further setup. If using edge holders, you must leave at least 10 mm margins. Click the Options tab to continue with adjustments. Deselect the Print Multiple Rows at a Time, Horizontal Copying, and Grouping options. Then click OK. Click OK to close the setup window. Click the Open Folder icon, and then select the files you want to use for double-sided printing. Each of the files you selected will then be loaded into the print queue. You can now adjust individual settings for each file you previously selected. Refer to your RIP program's user guide for details on what each option does. You can now proceed to print Side A jobs. Click on Change to reopen the printer control window. Click Setup. Re-enable the Automatically Start Printing option by clicking the checkbox, then click OK. Click OK again to begin processing. The Side A printing job will now process each file in the queue. Some ribs automatically generate Side B and add to the queue. Side A will be printed for each of the images in the queue. A black registration line is printed after each job. These will be used to align the matching job on the second side. When side A printing is complete, you must manually advance and cut the substrate. Begin this step by pressing the Move Substrate button. Press the down arrow to advance the media. Be sure to leave a few centimeters of blank media after the last side A print. Press OK when done advancing media. Now, cut the substrate from the front panel. Select the substrate menu icon. Press OK. Select Form Feed and Cut, and then press OK again. Unload and cut substrate. You can now set up and print side B jobs. Before reloading the cut substrate, you must unload the roll. Press the down arrow to select the substrate menu, and then press OK. Press the down arrow to move to Substrate Unload, and then press OK. 
Press OK once more to unload roll. Reload the substrate with Site A facing up. The front panel will prompt, Would you like to load substrate for printing as Site B? Select Yes, load as Site B, and press OK. The printer automatically searches for the first registration line and calibrates the substrate advance. If the printer fails to find the registration line, the front panel asks you to move the substrate using the up and down keys until the reference line is aligned with the permanent line on the platen. Once the registration is successful, the front panel will indicate the printer is ready to print side B. If the RIP does not automatically generate side B prints, manually generate them now. Select Yes when the RIP prompts Start Printing Side B Jobs. The printer will now begin processing the Side B queue. The printer will automatically print each file in succession until the job queue has been completed. Progress and status will be indicated on both the front panel and RIP displays. Between each job, the printer will locate the correct registration line, and then it will print the next file in the queue. After all of the print jobs are completed, you will unload the completed substrate. On the front panel, press the Move Substrate button, then press OK. Hold the down arrow button until the substrate advances completely and unloads. Your double-sided print project is now complete. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel youtube.com forward slash HP support advanced.